November 4th, 2018, Katerina Hanzuk, a well-known political activist, volunteer, and outspoken advocate of democratic reform in Ukraine, died in a Kyiv hospital. She was 33 years old. Several months earlier, in July, she had been viciously attacked near her home in Kherson, in southern Ukraine. An unknown assailant had poured a liter of concentrated sulfuric acid on her. Katerina suffered massive burns to over 30% of her body, including her eyes. She underwent 14 operations, but sadly, after 96 days of excruciating torment in the medical burn unit, Katerina succumbed to her injuries. Initially, the local Kherson police tried to downplay the seriousness of the attack against Katerina by characterizing it as a quote-unquote act of hooliganism. Soon, however, in response to increasing public outcry, they were forced to reclassify it as attempted murder. From the start, it seemed clear that the attack on Katerina was related to her political activism. She was a critic of the corruption of local authorities, including the police force that was later supposed to investigate the attack against her. She stood in defense of local forests in relation to the problem of massive illegal logging. She was a participant in both the 2004 Orange Revolution and the 2014 Revolution of Dignity. Katerina was also an outspoken opponent of pro-Russian separatists in Kherson, some of whom were powerful in local government. Fellow activists have claimed that the attack against Katerina was organized by the local Kherson authorities. The attack on Katerina was not in any way an isolated incident. Unfortunately, in Ukraine, a country that is in many ways a civilized and democratic European state, with a well-educated and cultured population, attacks against civic and political activists occur quite often. The majority of such attacks are never solved by police, and the criminals go unpunished. Human rights groups have recorded more than 55 unsolved cases of attacks on activists to date in Ukraine, including the Hanzuk case. After Katerina's murder, a civic initiative was started under the slogan Kto zamovil Katyu Hanzuk, or Who is behind the assault on Katerina Hanzuk? This initiative was created by activists in Ukraine in order to put pressure on the authorities to bring the criminals to justice. In June 2019, five men were jailed for the attack on Katerina. They were sentenced to between three and six and a half years of jail time. All of them pleaded guilty and they signed plea deals. However, the main players behind Katarina's assault have not yet been brought to justice. The investigation and court case dealing with the murder of Katarina Hanzuk have hit dead ends on a number of occasions. And to make matters worse, at every turn, Katarina's good name and character have been subjected to smear campaigns, implying that she somehow deserved what happened to her. I'm Tanya Stech. And this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden, the part of the Stockholm Nobel International Program.